In this video, I'm going to show you how I drew this super simple lily using colored pencils and talking about the steps I took to make this easy for beginners to colored pencils to follow along. I drew this lily on Strathmore printmaking paper using Prismacolor and Polychromos pencils. Here you can see me getting started on drawing the stamens. I always like to draw the stamens first because it's much easier to work around them once they're in place than it is to try to leave space on the paper and draw them last. The only drawback to completing this step first is that the stamens will look strange and wrong until the petals are drawn in around them so you do have to be aware of this as you're working and not get discouraged. I like to draw the tips of the stamens first and then make sure that each of those tips has a stem that extends down into the base of the flower. It's not important that each of these stems be a perfect photorealistic match to your reference image, but they do, however, need to be really crisp and distinct from the surrounding stems. I drew mine using Orchid from Prismacolor, which is one of the newest Prismacolor colors. Next, I'm starting to work on the petals, and you can see me here using my Polychromos light red violet to outline everything. That just makes it really easy for me to see where all of these petals are going to go, and then starting to block in where I want the veins to go, and you can see how I'm curving those lines. That's really gonna help give shape to those petals. So far, I think everything that I've done here is very easy and easy to follow along with. In the tutorial, I did all of this in real time and talked to you about exactly which pencils I'm using, so it's definitely a good one to try if you're a beginner. I worked on these petals one by one, again, to make this tutorial easy to follow. And you can see me here blocking in the petal with several different colors and now blending everything out with solvent. You can see the highlighted area where I protected the paper with a white pencil and I'll talk more about that step as I move along. I do find that whenever I'm working on a flower I typically use the first petal to get a feel for exactly which colors I want to use and in which order and the first petal usually takes the longest as I work out this process that I will then follow around for the rest of the petals. In this case, I did make some adjustments from the first petal to the second that made this much easier to draw. Moving on to the second petal, my general process moving through was to block in the shadow areas using my darkest pencils, which in this case was my Prismacolor Dark Purple and Dahlia. And then I blocked in where I wanted the highlights to go using a white Prismacolor pencil and then came through with more of my mid-tone colors. In this case, I was using Mulberry and Orchid from Prismacolor and even some more of that light red violet you saw me use from Polychromos. And here again, just blending this all out with solvent. There again, you can see where 
the highlight shows up, it's important to block in or protect the paper is something I say. When you have a layer of white pencil, a waxy white pencil like a Prismacolor or a Derwent drawing pencil or a Luminance even, put a layer of the white pencil down before you come over with your other colors, then it's really easy to brighten it back up later using solvent or as you can see here using that electric eraser. After the solvent dries, I do go ahead and come back over and adjust the colors and add lots of details. I'm using that Prismacolor Dark Purple once again to add some of the seeds on top of this petal. Really easy to do, but also adds lots of detail. It makes it look much less plain and then darkening up the shadows again. And you're just gonna see me follow that same process all of the rest of the way around, starting off with the shadows and then blocking in the highlights using the white pencil, then coming over everything using the mid-tone colors, blending it out with solvent, and then going over adjusting colors and adding details. That's the basic process that I went through in this entire drawing. It gets easier and easier with every petal you draw. And by the time you get to the end of this flower, you don't even really have to think much about it. You know exactly what you need to do next. I was using Utrecht Nude Odorless Paint Thinner to dissolve the pencil pigment here. It gives it a nice base. You can see that that doesn't look done yet. There's still a lot of work to be done. After I blend everything out, I have to add all of the details, bring back the highlights and that sort of thing. There are three really big things that I can think of here that I did to increase the realism in this drawing. One of those you can see me doing right here with that electric eraser. I like to pull up little bits of color all over the petal and it adds texture to the drawing. So when I work in layers and I have lots of different layers on the paper, when I use the electric eraser and I just dot it around, it will pull up one or two of those layers revealing some of the colors that are underneath. Just makes a really nice natural look. This was probably the trickiest petal because I really had to work in and around the stamens, but I really followed the same process, I just tried to work more carefully around the stamens because some of the lighter colors that I was using in the petals were a close match to the colors that were in the stamens. I had to make a few adjustments there. You can see me using that Prismacolor Orchid in that area and that's the color that I used on the stamens. So I had to make some adjustments to make sure that the stamens still would stand out after I had everything blended. I used some really sharp pencils to go in and outline everything a second time just to make sure, again, that I had all those sharp edges so everything didn't just blur together. And I just spent a little bit of extra time refining everything on this particular petal. So 
another thing that I did to make this flower look more realistic is I really paid attention to these veiny lines, directional lines that you can see in the petal. It was important to make sure that those were going in the right direction and following a nice curve. That's what's going to give this petal a 3D look. And so those are so important. I like to get those drawn in first and then go over them several times to make sure that they stand out. And then I was also careful to make sure I had some really dark shadows at the base of these petals so that it looks like these petals are coming out. There, there's a center there. And I just did that by adding a shadow. It's not hard to do, you just have to pay attention. I like to look back and forth between my drawing and my reference image very frequently while I'm working. things that I did to make this look more realistic was adding these seeds, these little details in there. Again, it's not hard to do. I just used that really dark pencil and dotted those all around, but you can see by looking at this, again, how much realism those things that I just mentioned add to this. If you look at the petals that are finished, you can see the veiny directional lines. You can see the highlights and the bits that I pulled up using the electric eraser to add texture. And then you can also really notice all of the details with the seeds that are in these petals. I really love this particular tutorial for beginners because it is done in real time. I also like to draw things for beginners that I think are still really beautiful. I really love this flower, so just because it's for beginners doesn't mean it can't be inspirational and really pretty, so I think you're gonna be proud of this drawing once it's complete, even if it's one of the first things you've ever drawn with colored pencils. If this video is moving way too fast for you and you want to take a look at the tutorial, it is over on Patreon. I'll put a link in the description. There are also hundreds of other drawing videos and tip videos over there talking about colored pencils with an emphasis on flowers. I've also got some birds. So check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, I will be back here on YouTube with another video. Bye, everybody.